All right, hey everybody. Today we're gonna walk through installing a second wireless mic receiver into a Denon Pro Envoy or Marantz Professional Voice Rover. We'll be using the Denon Pro receiver and using a Marantz Professional Voice Rover to walk through uh, this setup. So the first thing you're gonna do is up at the top, you'll notice that there's a receiver on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, there's a blank panel that might have a sticker on it that describes the wireless mic connection instructions and the uh, receiver is sold separately from the second wireless mic. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, undo the panel uh, on the right-hand side that does not have the receiver in it and remove it. The rear of the panel may contain uh, a tw like a twisty tie sort of thing, which connects to the wires that are inside. Uh, your wires might be loose. In either case, there will be two wires, as you can see, with two connections on the end. And all you do is untwist the tie on the back of the panel to release the wires and ensure that your wires continue to hang outside of the voice rover or the envoy. And the next step is to take the new receiver that you got and note the two connections one on the front one on the bottom they're two different sizes and the two connections coming from the voice rover are also two different sizes and there's only two connections on this envoy receiver so you're not going to be able to uh, uh, connect incorrectly so the first step you're going to do is you're going to take the larger of the two and you'll notice there's two protrusions on the uh, rear of the larger of the two connections and that goes towards the inside and you'll note on the actual Envoy uh, receiver itself there's two openings for those two protrusions. So I'm basically just going to line it up. Be careful while connecting this uh, and simply push it in. You'll feel it kind of click in there so you'll know you have a solid connection. And then I'm going to take the second connection turn over the Envoy receiver, and again there's sort of a protrusion on the back of the uh, smaller connector and on the back of, uh, and on one side of the connection on the actual receiver itself, and I'm simply going to connect it, push it in, you'll hear it click, and turn it back over. Now what I'm going to do is, you, you want to be careful, you want to ensure that these wires are not going to get in the way as you insert the receiver into the Envoy or the voice rover. So, basically just sort of move them around so they're out of the way and then begin to insert the receiver. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put it at an angle so that so that it's upwards facing downwards uh, going in there because there's a uh, sort of a wall uh, area in the in the rear of the Envoy and the voice rover so you have to kind of get underneath that. So just keep it at an angle and ensure that the wires are not getting in the way. And as you insert it, there you go, and notice it kind of lines up. On the bottom of the receiver itself towards the front, there's a couple of little clips, right? Uh, it goes over the edge of the opening for the receiver. It doesn't really clip on, but it does sort of hold it in place. So you basically push it in, and then you push down a little bit, and it sort of clips. So it sort of stays in place so that you can add the two screws to hold it there. The next step is we're going to put the screws back into the new UHF receiver. Now that it's installed, the next thing you want to note is how to pair a microphone to that new UHF receiver. So to explain this, basically I'm going to power the unit on and you'll notice that neither one of the receivers powers on unless this is clicked on like that. You just turn that little knob and either of the receivers will turn on. Secondly, you'll notice that I'm not getting any sound from the microphone. And that's simply because the microphone has a power on off switch on the bottom of it as well and that needs to be powered on. But before I do, I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the channels that we have here. Uh, def by default, the microphone that comes with the voice rover and the envoy pair to channel one automatically. However, if we're adding a second receiver, two microphones should not be 
paired to channel one. You're gonna get some distortion, you might get some dropouts. So basically you need to pair the second microphone to a different channel. In order to do so, find your microphone or the microphone that you purchased separately for the second receiver and you can twist it open. And when you twist it open, you'll notice that there's a battery compartment. So what I'm gonna do at this particular point before I actually pair this microphone is I'm gonna turn off the first receiver so that there's no interference. And then I'm gonna take the IR portion just above the battery compartment. I'm gonna face it towards the new receiver. I'm gonna choose the channel and I would recommend starting at channel two and working your way up for the most solid connection. You can also go through the different channels if you're having any interference or distortion and simply uh, uh, try a different channel to ensure the most solid connection in the least amount of distortion or interference. So I'm just gonna go to channel two at this point, and now with the IR section just above the battery compartment in the microphone pointed towards the receiver, I'm gonna press the ASC button. Now you'll notice that the red RF light lights up, and now it's paired. For the time being, I'm gonna power off this microphone, and then I'm gonna power on the first receiver. And now if you have your, your first microphone, it'll be paired to this receiver, and the second new microphone will be paired to the second receiver, and you have two wireless microphones uh, connected to your uh, Marantz Professional Voice Rover or Denon Professional Envoy. One additional note, when the antenna is included, also with the purchase of the second receiver, an antenna is also included. And to attach the antenna, simply remove the cover just below the receiver. Take out the antenna that came with your product and purchase, and connect the end to it. This allows for a number of different things, including a more solid connection, less potential for static and distortion, and more range on the wireless microphone. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.